To deform images like this, you'll need to create a mesh, bind bones to it, and calculate weight's distribution. Actually, it is easier than it sounds, especially the weights part, since most of the animation software can do it automatically. But how good is their solution, really? To answer this question, I've created this gingerbread cookie in Photoshop and rigged it in Spine, Dragon Bones, Blender Car Tools, and Unity. I tried to make the meshes and the skeleton look identical in each software and use the auto weights only to bind the bones to the mesh. Then I created a quick dancing animation and compared the results. It's time to see what the auto weight is really worth. I decided to test Spine Pro first, since it's the only paid software in my list, and I wanted to check if the result is worth the money. First of all, I needed to create a mesh. My goal was to showcase the waste distribution, and that's why I tried to keep the mesh simple and clean. After that, I created the bones and split them on the limbs to add some flexibility. And finally, the moment of truth. I'm clicking this bind button to calculate the weights. Well, it's not bad actually. The color shows the influence that each bone has over the mesh. For instance, the head is mostly controlled by the head bone, and the tip of the hand is controlled by this orange bone. So far, so good. However, the areas between the limbs are mixed, and that's where the weights calculation gets tricky. You can see that moving the arm distorts the head, and moving the head bone distorts the chest area. Well, that's not ideal, but there is a logical explanation to that. It's related to the way I created the mesh. See? So actually, it seems that Spine did its best, and the weights assignment makes sense for this simple mesh. Let's see if it passes the animation test. I'm rotating its body, arms, head, adding some curves and offsetting the keys, and action. Well, there is a slight distortion here, but overall, it actually looks pretty good. Next, I checked out the same procedure in Dragon Bones. Yeah, I know, Dragon Bones has not been updated for years, but many people still use it because it's free, so it was worth checking anyway. Same as in Spine, I've created a simple mesh then a simple armature, and then click this magic button below. Uh-oh, I can see a problem right away. The head is controlled by way too many bones. It looks a bit weird when I rotate it. It seems that the influence of a single bone spreads too far. For example, we shouldn't see one foot affecting the other one. Also, I've noticed that the weight percentage doesn't always sum up correctly. Well, let's make this cookie dance again and then decide. Rotating the body and the limbs. I've tried to keep the same angles as in spine to make this comparison accurate. A few final touches. Well, what can I say? It is not the same level of quality, and there is way too much deformation, especially in the head area. The result speaks for itself, really. So, let's move on to the next item on the list. Now it was time to test the core tools for Blender, and I had a good feeling about this, because last time I tested this add-on, I was really impressed. So, let's test it again, on our Cookie Man. So here we go again, creating the mesh, the armature. Finally, with some Blender hotkeys magic, I was able to bind the bones to the mesh. Now let's see. That's slightly more deformation than I would expect. The tip of the hand shouldn't really affect the head, and one foot shouldn't move the other one. Still, to be fair, it looks smoother than in Dragon Bones. Now, how about the fancy moves? Making sure I rotate the bones the same way as in Spine. Adding a little follow-through. Done! The distortion on the chest is a bit more noticeable than in Spine, but the overall movement is still convincing. Not bad for a free software. By the time I got to Unity, I thought that this cookie man will haunt me in my sleep. For the fourth time, I made the same rig over again. Mesh, bones, auto weights. Nothing is gonna impress me. Or will it? This looks fine. This looks clean. 
And this looks good as well. Actually, I was very surprised to see how well Unity handled this challenge. But the most important test is the actual animation. So, let's get ready for the final dance. Now, fingers crossed. Yes, you didn't disappoint me, Unity. The animation looks clean and it's pretty much identical to Spine. Well done! So, what's the conclusion? The auto weights calculation is super handy and it saves you a lot of time while rigging the character. Some software does it better than others, and from what we've just learned, Unity and Spine do it best, and therefore share the first place. Core tools for Blender got pretty close to Spine and Unity, yet in some places the result was quite unexpected, causing the Cookie Man look even more distorted during the animation. That's why Core tools comes after Unity and Spine and takes the second place. Unfortunately, Dragonbone's performance was the lowest compared to others, and that's why it takes the bronze. Well, anyway, that was only the Autoways algorithm, only a single feature that I've compared. If you want to see more detailed comparisons, check out this playlist. That's it for now, and see you next time!